Hey, hey. We're out here fishing uh, 4,000 feet up. We're in the Linville Gorge. Um, Linville River's down there. It's quite a ways, but we're going to trout fish today and see if we can catch some. Um, i to talk about the story. The nice hiking trip we took, the winter shakedown. Winter shake. That's, that's a... Yeah, that was an understatement. Yeah, it's an understatement. Winter. It was the winter blizzard shake now. There we go. Now we're talking. So this is Poncho from another day's walk. Came down from West Virginia. I'm Poncho from West Virginia. I can't help it. I call him West Virginia. <laughs> Mama. Okay, but anyways, we got a little story we're gonna tell you. Um, in case anybody wants to know how the hike went, because I got some people ask me some questions on my Facebook. Yeah, we, it, it was a uh, it was a doozy. It was a hike. So can you kind of explain to him when we got to Curtis Creek? Okay, Curtis Creek. So the first, like day one. Day one. Okay, day one, we went up the Snook Snows, Snook Snows? Snook Snows. Snook Snows. I can't say it, but yeah, it's like Snook Snows. Like and it, and it, it sucks. It's like straight uphill. Yeah. Like all like the way. 45 degree angle. Probably like 40 for degree. like five miles. Yeah. But then you get a good view at the top. But then you're still thinking, I just walked straight uphill for like five miles. Yeah. And it, it sucked. But the view was worth it. And then I was like, fine. Finally, we're gonna get to go downhill, and then no, no, that that wasn't the, the plan. We we kept going up another like eight hundred feet, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. We went, we kept going up. You know, we just went up three thousand feet. Let's go up another eight hundred. So we did that, and then we finally went down and got stuck in the dark. Came down with micro spikes, by the way. Yeah, micro. Yeah, it was so ice. Snow, and sleet, snow, and the, the drop was horrible. It was, it was it was one of the worst situations I've been in. I, luckily, we got down to lower elevation before it started getting dark. But we still ended up night hiking for what, probably an hour? Uh, yeah, definitely night hiking. Yeah, we, we night hiked an hour, then got to a uh, closed campground, an expensive closed campground. Like, it's $25 a night. Who pays $25 a night at a campground? But it was closed, and we, we set up with his tarp. Luckily, he carries everything. We, we used his tarp and made us a little cubby so we could eat. And we ate hot dogs. Really cheese good. Dogs. Cheese dogs. They're really good Better cheese dogs. Yes. It was yeah. awesome. Like we, I, like normally if I would just eat one of them, I would be like, eh. But it was the best meal after a long day of hiking. Yeah, definitely. And we finally made it and we set up our tents and next thing you know, just wind and wind. sleet. Like 40 mile an hour, 60, 60 mile an hour guest. For, like, 40 like, to 60, like 40, like, Consistently, like you're worrying about trees coming on your tent, like and you thought 60, if you, uh, a, a widow maker would fall out of the tree and kill you. And we huddled up because we wasn't supposed to be in the campground, so we huddled up against the shelter. So we was like in the back corner, and like in the next morning, <laughs> these women was walking around. It was like, Are you guys camping? <laughs> we just seen our tents. Yeah. There. It, it, it was interesting. Yeah, we weren't supposed to be. We was hidden though, so it we was, were stealth. It was, it was stealth stealthy. camping. Kind of. yeah. That's why I got a camel tent, people. Yeah, this is yellow. <laughs> anyway, we did that. And after that, we decided to go up Mitchell. So we hiked up Mitchell, which was what, six miles? Six miles straight and, up. And like 4,000 feet incline? Yeah. So we went up 4,000 feet in six miles, which really sucked. And snow. as soon as we got to 5,000 feet, it was nothing but snow, and ice. ice, and like a foot of snow, almost a foot of snow. On top of the winds that were blowing. And, uh, they and were probably it, tw uh, 30, 20, 30 mile an hour that day. It, it was, and, yeah, it was still really high winds, yeah. especially trying to hike up a mountain and then winds blow down and then they blow up when you, you just don't know what you're gonna do. And we've finally got to the top. This is the short version because there's a lot more I can say about the hike, but yeah, we got we, to the we, top. We spent a long time on this. And when we got to the top, we knew it was going to be too cold the next night to be able to keep going on our plan, which was to go up to another 6,000 foot mountain yeah. and camp up close to that. Once again, I've been defeated by the Black Mountain Crest Trail. But it was so cold, and I, it was probably teens with wind chill. Yeah, it was. Like at least and teens. No doubt. It was 20, 28 or 26 degrees. On and we, we wasn't exactly prepared for teens during the day. Well, on top night. of that, the winds were higher. The winds were gusting about yeah. 50 mile an hour. Yeah. So we knew there was a road that led all the way down to Snook's Nose. But we knew, how, how long was that road? Uh, which one? The one that we took, like counting the the highway, Blue Ridge Highway, and the road that goes Mitchell? up. Mitchell? I'm going to say it was a 26. 26, or? just counting them two? Yeah. Yeah, so, so we decided to hike 26 miles, and this was like already well, probably five. probably snow's on top of that, but yeah. It was like 5 o'clock at night, and we already hiked like 7, 
seven to eight by this point. Yeah. Plus, we was gonna hike another twenty six. We had a thirty two mile day. Yeah, yeah it, it was over thirty mile day, which is crazy. But we started hiking down through there, and we got it was dark. It just got dark, so it was probably like six o'clock. We probably went three four miles. Yes. And a ranger stopped and asked if we wanted a ride down to our vehicle. What did we do? We, we were stubborn. We machoed up. And we said no. Even though we still had like 20 miles left to go, we said no, we got this. Stupidest thing that, that ranger probably thought we was the biggest idiots he's ever met because he was offering to drive us down there when it was dark out with winds and probably still 20 degrees. Yeah. But no, we, we hiked it the rest of the way. He kind of shook his head and said, okay, whatever y'all want to do. Yeah. So we gave him some stories to tell people, but we got down to Snook's Nose, which was the last five miles to the vehicle, mm -hmm. five, six miles. So, and we was dead. Like, like I couldn't like feel leg, my feet. Major leg fatigue. Like, nothing worked. My it? legs was shaking. I couldn't walk in a straight line if I wanted to. And like I was telling you, Snook's Nose is like 45 degrees straight up. So we was going 45 degrees straight down. I think twice in the road, we curled up fetal position when I went to sleep. <laughs> we we laid down. We laid down seat. in the middle of the path, like yeah, on the yeah. uphill version and just Play said, out. okay, we're done. And we had to keep going. We finally made it to the car and we was awful. That gravel road. Yeah, and the, okay, we thought this gravel road when we came on up was like very short. We said, oh, that's nothing. It lasted forever whenever we was so, like, I guess we was just so tired, so done. This gravel road was the worst thing I've ever it seen in my sucked. life. I think gravel road probably one of the suckiest. That was, yeah, like, and I called it. I said, that gravel because road. you thought when you hit the road, you're like, yes, Oh, I'm we're home. home. Yeah, but we wasn't. Yeah. And we started driving. And if you got us driving, like, we was both just, like, woozing while driving. We had to find food because we barely ate anything that day. Like, I ate a bite of Nutella that morning. And that's all I had the whole day. And this was, like, 2 o'clock the next morning. So it's been, like, 24 I can vouch for that. He did eat Nutella only. I think I ate his Pop Tarts. That's why he didn't have any. Yeah. yeah, I gave him my Pop Tart, so I got Nutella. And we got there. Got to Subway. We tore that Subway up. Probably smelling like who knows what. Oh, yeah. We probably ran him out. Oh, oh, oh. Sweating. It was awful. Finally got food. Then I felt better. I was still really tired, and we got some sleep. And that was awesome. Yeah. That's what I needed. So on the, let me ask a couple of questions. Since, right. you're, since you're the out of towner and I'm, this is my backyard. Scale of one to ten, what was that hike? All of together. All the hikes you've ever done. What like was? the counting everything I've done yeah, together I'm, in yeah. one. And it was probably the toughest hike I've ever done. Yeah. I, I mean, mean from, we, we hiked me, we hiked over thirty miles in one day. It's yeah, not going to be by easy. far that was the most ever I have pushed myself as far as falling out. Well, I, I, the way I can put it is, when you watch a marathon like the. Uh, Boston Marathon, whatever, the big long marathons they have and the people collapse and fall and like cry and they're trying to crawl to the finish line. Yeah, that's where I was. <laughs> that's exactly what I, I was. I wasn't far behind. I wasn't that far, but I, I was not far behind. That is for sure. Yeah. It, that is a lot of miles. I have black toenails. I have a nice <laughs> giant blister up underneath my foot from going down snow stuff. See, I'm, I'm doing good. My feet's good. Yeah, I'm shocked. I mean, my legs are sore today, of course. You ever picture a giraffe coming out of the mama <laughs> at birth and it can't walk? That's that was me. Yeah, I, I can vouch for that. I was there. It was awful. Yeah, it was the worst. Because he was getting to the point. He's like, "Don't talk to me. My lips are frozen together." I couldn't even talk. <laughs> and then when I say something, when I could say something, he'd say, "What? I can't hear you." And I'm like, "I, I can't. Even, I can't even say." He, it. he would just say, "Okay, whatever. We're not gonna talk then." I didn't have it in me. He's like, We're not talking. No. But yeah, that's our story. I still. Want okay, we're freezing our asses off. We are on the parkway. We just came down from Mount Mitchell and it's been a long, one, one long walk. I'm gonna say what, six miles down Mount Mitchell? Yeah, and then another, and then another probably five or six now on the parkway. We've already done probably two or three. And then we have to hike the hardcore hook snow, hook snow. Snook snows, I can't talk because my lips are frozen. And I, if you can hear that wind, yeah, it's about 40 mile an hour. It's, it's burning. But we decided that we were not gonna be human popsicles tonight. There is no shame in our game because we already did hike at the summit of Mount Mitchell. So, any words? Oh, uh, yeah. Anything cool. about Denny's? Denny's good. I think about We are going to smack a Denny's when we come home. Pancakes. It's going to happen. Pancakes, pancakes, pancakes have been already done. For almost two days. You hear that? You hear that wind? Listen. I have, been, I have been literally pushed up the road with no control. Uh, 
See you soon. Our sponsor says see you on the sunny side. Keep the heater. <laughs> but yeah, that it was, was uh, it was funny though. I just wanted to I put like this it. post post hike video out okay. just to uh, just to show you what well, we're we're going on the AT. We've got 2,200 miles to go, 14 states, and uh, I, I'm gonna say that was probably a, definitely a training experience. So we got 47 more days. Pretty something like that. I don't know. I don't count. 47 or 46. It depends on what you count. If you count the first day on the pro shot or not. So, y'all know it's my y'all know my channel when you watch my. This is another day's walk. Yeah, another day's walk. All so one word. Subscribe to his YouTube channel because he's he is a he's pretty goofy, kind of like me. I'm I'm just me. And I mean, we're both gonna be on the trail, but there's gonna be different different takes of video. Yeah, sure. different perspectives. I mean, look at me. I'm fishing four thousand feet up. I ain't caught nothing. I'm snagged right now. I'm just standing here um, with yeah, a fishing pole. I, I do funny gifts, you know, funny goofy things. He does funny goofy things. It should be a just great. not just not the same goofy things. Yeah, that's true. Like, like when I said, come on, let's go fishing four thousand feet up. He's like, uh, that's kind of weird. He, he, he's more of the uh, elderly entertainer. No yeah, say I'm for I'm for us old folk. Yeah, us forty and up. Forty and up. Actually, he kind of offended me. He said, oh, I don't I don't do Facebook. Uh, it's kind of for old people. <laughs> oh, come on, man. Anyways, we're out. Just wanted to share that video with you. Um, keep watching. Thanks to my people paying attention and subscribing to me. Take a hike, Mike. He AT deserves 2020. it. You deserve it. But uh, yeah, check us out. Keep watching us. We got a, a big story to tell, a big adventure to take. So many to come. And we're gonna try to keep y'all updated and laughing and just having it should a be comedy. Time. Hopefully, it should be comedy. I think it is. Like comedy gold on a trail. Comedy That's what it is. gold. Gold. We, we found some gold actually on that top, and I lost it. I think we're gonna be funnier than the trailer park story. Or something. Uh, I mean, if, I if I would have kept that gold, it would have been worse. Don't you? I mean, it's already funny because it's like this guy's like from West Virginia. We all know what we think about West Virginia. Yeah. I'm just now mad that I got the gold out there. Just tell me, yes, I do. Cause I can't go on without you. Gonna let our love shine. Uh, you're sitting right there, so it shows you. Yeah, it'll be fine. I'll be sitting there. You'll be sitting in front. GoPro, stop recording. GoPro, stop recording. Don't listen to him, GoPro. You only listen to me. <laughs> GoPro, stop recording. Nope. There he is. Man, the myth, the legend. All right. GoPro, stop recording. <laughs> it's on. What? I'm not joking, it's on. I'm being serious, you can see the red light blinking. What the hell? It is on. <laughs> well, this is gonna be hilarious, man. You tell me this shit's been carved the whole time? <laughs> I don't know. GoPro, turn it off. GoPro, stop recording. <laughs>